All right, if you have your Bibles, let's open those up today. We are starting a new devotional series. We just wrapped up an overview of the book of Proverbs, and now we're going to go towards something a little more topically. Uh, the series is uh, The Christian's Toolbox, you know. Uh, it's been the summer, and I've been doing projects around the house. I'm sure you have, too. And just kind of getting the tools in your hand and realizing, you know, if you don't know the essential tools you need, you're not going to be effective at the projects, number one. Number two, if you don't know how to use those tools, uh, you know, not going to work out. If you're using a hammer to try to screw in uh, a screw, it's going to take you quite some time. And uh, we're going to look at those over the next couple weeks, possibly months, and just practically, you know, getting back to the basics, what does it mean to be a Christian, and how can we be effective in this? So the Christian's Toolbox, and the first one we're going to see here is, well, what many of you are probably holding in your hand, the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. I'm sure you've heard this. If not, uh, write it down, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. There was a pretty good song about that. Uh, when I got saved. Basic instructions before leaving earth. And what is this book, the Bible? You know, how is it our tool? You know, uh, we need it daily. Truly we do. And we're going to talk about that uh, over this next week uh, in our devotional series. So the first verse we're going to see uh, is 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, we're going to look at chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. And it uh, doesn't get much more practical than this, this tool of the Word of God. You know, we should be reading it daily, so important for our Christian development. Uh, the good saying is, uh, you know, you, this book will keep you from sin, or sin will keep you from this book. And I'm sure many of you have experienced that. Listen, Paul now says, all Scripture, and he's writing to his young protege, Timothy, pastor of the church of Ephesus, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it means God breathed, God breathed. Uh, John Stott says, God speaks through what he has spoken. So uh, this book, the Bible, is God breathed. It is inspired by God. And this is how God speaks to us on a regular basis, right? Jesus being tempted by Satan in the wilderness, you know, responded to Satan when he told him, he says, why don't you command these stones to become bread? And Jesus says, it is written, right? Jesus knew the Bible. He says, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word or rhema, but by every word that is spoken to him. So all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. So this is going to profit you. If you read the Bible, it will profit you. It's just a fact, folks. You know, the Bible is filled with promises that if you're daily in the scriptures, your life will be successful. Uh, you know, I see Christians been saved for so many years, and they still have not developed the, the discipline or the habit um, of consistently reading God's Word. You know, I can't encourage you enough. In the morning, let the Word of God be the first thing you read. Not Facebook, not the sports scores, right? Not the, not the, uh, the uh, uh, stock market trends or the news, but let it be God's Word. That's the first thing you read. And even before you go to bed at night, Meditate on the word. It is profitable. What's it profitable for doctrine, right? Doctrine's not just eschatology, numerology, soteriology, right? Uh, it's, it's really how to live our lives. Uh, it's the word of God. It's, uh, it's how we hear the word and then how it reflects in our lives. For doctrine, for reproof, right? To correct us, to change us, to, to chisel us, to make us into the men and women uh, that God wants us to be. For correction, you know, God's word will correct us. James will say the word of God is like a, a mirror we look in and we see what needs to change and we change it. This is our main tool, folks. This is the main way we know what God wants from us and who God is and how he works for correction, for instruction in righteousness. It'll help us to walk in righteousness that the man of God or the woman of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So you want to Use the tool of God's word daily. Uh, I'd encourage you, one of the ways to get familiar with God's tool is to memorize scripture. Uh, maybe even today, write down 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. This is a verse you want to have in your, your tool belt, right? Ready to uh, bring up at a moment's notice. All scripture is God-breathed, inspired by God, and is profitable for reproof, for correction, right? For the training of 
training us up. And may you walk in that today. The word of God, meditate on it, be blessed by it. Father, I pray, bless your people with a greater love and a greater consistency of just hearing and reading the word. And God, may you bless them with that in Jesus' name. Amen.